Hello everybody, today I'm taking a look at a 2019 Ford Escape SEL 4x4. Beautiful red color, LED accent lighting, your fog lights and daytime running lights right here. Looks like you have some Continental Contapro contact tires. These tires are a 235-55R17. That red looks absolutely beautiful in the sun. You have blind spot monitoring uh, mirror, little inlay right here on this side. Rooftop rack with this particular trim. Here's your capless fuel fill port. It's your EcoBoost four-wheel drive logo right there. Down here we got your dual exhaust. The trunk lift gate button is right here and your backup camera is right there underneath the Ford logo. Escape logo. Uh, this vehicle does have passive entry as well so as long as you have the key um, in your pocket or on you, you can just open and close the door um, by pulling on the handle. And there's that blind spot mirror again. Let's take a closer look at the interior of this vehicle. So starting out on the left side, we have your uh, child window lock right here, indicated by an amber light. All of your window controls, your mirror controls, and your unlock and lock button. Over here we have all of your lighting controls right here. These are for your fog lights, daytime running lights, automatic lights on off. Up top we have a really nice uh, LCD display screen. We have your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, uh, engine temperature and fuel level in the middle underneath the screen. Working our way back we have a really nice leather wrapped steering wheel with some bolsters at 10 and 2. This control pad right here controls everything on the front screen ahead of you. A lot of parameters to monitor which is awesome. Right here we have all of your cruise control buttons. Over on the right hand side we have your volume rocker and your hands free call slash um, seek scan preset buttons. Uh, this does have a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. You do have push button start. Up here we have the really nice uh, Sony uh, audio and um, uh, Sirius uh, touchscreen display. I don't think it's Sirius, I meant to say sync. You do have Sirius uh, uh, XM radio with this particular uh, trim though. Um, very responsive, way more responsive than the outgoing uh, model year, and you do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto uh, included. Up top here we have all of your physical buttons for the touchscreen, and then below that we have your hazard lights. Under here we have your dual climate control. As you can see, I have my heated seats on because it's quite chilly this morning. Uh, you do have heated driver and passenger seats. Uh, you can also control where the air is blowing. This is your automatic start stop on off. It is on by default, now it is off, indicated by an amber off light. This is your traction control on off button as well. Underneath that we have a USB port and a 12 volt outlet. As well as some storage right here for some pens or miscellaneous items. Another miscellaneous storage compartment right here. Two cup holders, your shift select, and your electronic parking brake. Behind that we have a little bit more storage. And then we have a two-tiered um, center console. So the first one is going to give you this shallow storage for whatever, maybe a, a plus, plus size phone. A little pen storage right here. And the second one is going to lift up and give you some really deep storage in there. And as you can see, you do have a USB port right there as well.
Very nice leather interior, nice bolsters. These are very comfy seats. Coming over here, we do have a really big glove compartment. We do have a halogen lit vanity. Glasses storage right here at the push of a button. And then there are your LED map dome lights. Driver vanity. Really nice interior. Um, I love the leather seats. Definitely uh, very comfortable. And I'm really uh, happy with the updated um, touchscreen display. Let's take a look and see how much uh, legroom we have in the back. Before I get in, I want to show you, you can fold these seats down to have even more storage in the back of the vehicle. Uh, you just pull on this lever right here, and the seats fold forward, giving you a flat storage of probably about five to five and a half feet. Now to put it back up, you just grab the seat and pull it till it locks. And that is on both driver and passenger side. Uh, you do have behind the seat storage in the form of uh, pouches right here on the driver and passenger seat. You do have rear heating and cooling vents for the rear passengers as well as a 12 volt outlet down there. Pretty basic uh, rear seating of the vehicle. You do have a center armrest slash cup holder in the middle seat. And you have a decent amount of legroom. I'd say I have a solid four to five inches of legroom before my uh, knees hit the front seat. I'm 5'11", if that's any help for anybody out there. Um, you do have two really big sized uh, cup holders on both sides of the vehicle. And nice grab handles to get in and out of the car. Up top, you have your LED map lighting right there. Let's take a look at the uh, trunk and see how much room we have back there. So to open the lift gate on this vehicle, there's a little button under here, you push it, and it should automatically go up. You probably have a solid two and a half to three feet of storage on the bottom, and probably more along the lines of two and a half feet of storage to up top, because these seats are angled back a little bit. Um, you do have a 12 volt outlet right here and you have the option for a privacy shade that pulls back if you so choose. A little bit of storage over here. Under here is all of your spare tire stuff. Overall decent amount of storage back here. Definitely put some coolers. Uh, to close the trunk there's a little button over here on the left side. You push it and it will automatically go down and close for you. Let's take a look at the window sticker. Here's the window sticker on this vehicle. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it because of the window tint, so I'll read it out for you. This is a 2019 Escape SEL four-wheel drive. It has a 1.5 liter EcoBoost four-cylinder engine as well as a six-speed automatic transmission. The exterior color is ruby red metallic, tinted clear coat, and the interior is charcoal black. All of your standard features are gonna be right here which you may not be able to see, I'm sorry about that. The uh, standard vehicle price is $29,945. All of your optional equipment are right here, bringing total MSRP to $30,935. Uh, you do have a value package and a savings package of $400 included with this vehicle. This vehicle is rated at 22 miles per gallon city, 28 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 24 miles per gallon. I'd like to thank Spirit Ford for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough on this vehicle. If you're interested in a new 2019 Escape, they have a bunch on their lot right now, and I will put all the contact info in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.